We just got some gameplay of Vice's abilities in Valorant, so in this video I'll be breaking down these videos for you and explaining what all of her abilities do. Jumping right on into it, we have her signature ability, so you'll get this for free every round, and this one is called Arc Rose. You target this ability at a surface and fire to place a stealth Arc Rose. Alternatively, you can alt fire or right click or you know aim down sights trigger on console, and doing that will then place the Arc Rose through the wall instead and pop out on the other side. Then you reuse this ability to blind all players looking at it. You can pick this ability back up and redeploy it later in the round. And based on this clip at least, it doesn't seem like you have too long to look away from this flash. If there's only one charge of that ability, you can't buy another one. Unfortunately, in this clip, we can't see how long the cooldown is or if there even is one, but that is how it works. Next, we have Vice's C ability called Razor Fine. You equip a nest of liquid metal and fire to launch it out onto the ground. Upon landing, this nest actually becomes invisible. Then you have to activate it yourself, and it will sprawl out into a larger Razor Vine nest, which slows and damages all players who move through it. So initially based on the leaks, it seemed like this was going to be more similar to Killjoy's Alarm Bot, in the sense that it would give you passive information and tell you when enemies come nearby. But now taking a look at this video, it seems almost similar to a Nano Swarm, except you just take some of the damage away, and slow the enemies down a little bit as well. So it's basically in the middle of a chamber slow on the ground and the damage from the nano swarm, but it also does look like it'll only damage you if you move through it. So you can choose to just sit there if you want to take no damage or if you're really low. You don't know the cost of that ability, but it will have two different charges so you can place it in two spots on the map. Then we have Vice's Q ability called Shear. You equip liquid metal and fire to place a hidden wall trap. When an enemy crosses, an indestructible wall bursts from the ground behind them. This wall lasts for a brief time before dissipating. Now unfortunately this clip itself is really short and we don't know exactly how long this wall is going to last, it seems to be at least for 5 seconds. And it also does seem to leave a very subtle mark on the ground so you will have some idea that the wall is there if you're about to walk into it. But still this is going to be indestructible, no way for your enemies to break through behind it, they just have to wait until it comes down, however long that duration is going to end up being. That ability will only have one charge, I'm not sure how much it costs just yet. Then finally we have Vice's ultimate called Steel Garden and this is going to cost 8 ultimate points. You have to equip this ultimate first. Then when you fire it out, metal erupts all around you and jams the primary weapon for all enemy agents within range. This effect seems to last for around 10 seconds, maybe a little bit more. And there is quite a long wind up time before it comes into play. And you can see that Jet is still able to move fine, use abilities fine, use a pistol fine. It is just specifically the main weapon that can't be used. So if you see the enemy Vice about to get her ultimate in round, you will probably want to buy a Sheriff going into that. But yeah, that is the first look at all of Vice's abilities in game. On Sunday, or maybe Monday for some of you, depending on your time zone, I'll be getting early access to Vice. So if there's any interactions or things like that you want to see me test with her abilities, let me know in the comments.